What's going on there, guys? We back with another one. And we got a disturbing report coming out about Malika Andrews from one of her high school classmates, man. He said some pretty alarming things about her. So, um, a guy by the name of Eli Rogers, he's been sharing some stories about Malika and her alleged conduct when they were in high school. And this is what he had to say about her. He said that Malika, him, one of his friends and another girl went out to the movies on a date. And Malika told the guy to put his fingers where the sun don't shine, you know, between her legs. And the guy allegedly did it. And Malika ran back and told the administration now. Don't forget that they went to a very strict school. So that type of behavior was not tolerated. And very similar to what happened with Jalen Rose, you know, in front of the ESPN big wigs live on television. Get your hands from under my armpit, Jalen Rose. That same type of thing. And that, and that was his whole motivation for making the video. Also, in another story... This young man says that Malika Andrews and one of the, her friends got drunk one night, but it was off of hand sanitizer. It wasn't off of alcohol. And you heard the stories about Malika Andrews and her bouts with depression and things like that early on in her life. Well, now, if what this young man is saying is true, we're getting a look into some of the activities that she was involved in, you know what I'm saying, that would show that uh, she has had a history of this type of behavior. Let's take a look back at the Jalen Rose incident. We're just, get your finger out of my armpit. We're just happy to see Jalen Rose welcoming in. I ain't in seen my The no man you know with the best hair in television. Hey. For a second, let me turn it down a little bit for a second. Some people don't address things head on because it may be good for their ego, but I don't. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell y'all something loud and clear. And I even turned on the music for this. One. Malika Andrews is like my little sister. She from the Bay. Like my other sister, Amina Hussein, who's a producer at Amazon that's like my sister. They worked at ESPN that got me on NBA Countdown. And let me tell y'all something that's very, very direct and clear so ain't no gray area. First off, you damn right I hug my sister because I'm a real one, I'm a boss, and I'm a G. Next, I didn't put my finger under her armpit. If you look at the picture, I only got five, four fingers and one thumb, and they on her shoulder. Number two, I ain't get fired from ESPN for doing that. So, like, the sites that's been running with that, gaming, y'all. Y'all got to pay attention to the sites that's running with that stuff. That stuff. The site that posted that, you ready for this? It's called Nutsack Sports. That ain't legit. It's called Butt Crack Sports. That ain't legit. Like, I hate that there, there's some, like, low-hanging fruit people out there that y'all really, like, I wasn't going to even address it. I'm sorry, BK, my social media guy. He told me to leave that alone. Don't give it no energy. But, like, it's just dumb. You know what I'm saying? That's my sister, literally. And her better half is my brother. And he just gave me a dope, by the way, basketball card, literally the next day after that incident, coincidentally, allegedly, of my biological father, Jimmy Walker. And that's the same basketball card I used to carry as a shorty. And I was very gracious to get it. And so I just had to put that out there as we keep it moving. So we all know these type of people that will try to bait you to come at them strong or to put yourself out there in a compromising manner and then go and report something that could be detrimental to your future or your earning potential or different things like that. Um, these allegations are alarming, 
But a lot of people on the internet has been saying this about Malika Andrews. There was no need for her to bring up Adrian Payne's death when she did. Um, well, not his death, but bring up what had happened at Michigan State or allegedly had happened with him at Michigan State. Uh, the way she went at Ime Udoka. Um, the way she went at Stephen A. Smith about how he felt about the Ime Udoka situation. How she went at Matt Barnes, Kendrick Perkins and them about Kobe Bryant. So many things, right, where people accuse her of hating men of color and having, like, you know, being out kind of on a witch hunt for these people. And this evidence is starting to substantiate itself, unfortunately, man. For her, if this did happen, if she did that to that young man um, back in high school, I think that's absolutely ridiculous, man. Because you can't be going out on dates telling someone to do something. Now, granted, you know, kids kids going to be kids, but this is why it's best to not even get involved in that type of stuff because you can at least stand on the fact that, hey, it never happened. Nothing like that never happened. But see, when he engaged and she was like, it didn't go the way he's saying it went. Whereas, you know, it's wrong. It's like you have to confess to doing wrong rather than just standing on the truth and say, I ain't do none of that. She bugging, she coming out of nowhere. And that's hard to do as a kid. You know, that's I didn't do it. So I, I'm not talking down on nobody else. I'm just saying, you know, it's a way to avoid some of this stuff. But someone with a tongue like this, man, that, that can go back and will say anything that could potentially damage your future. Those are the most dangerous type of people because they have no regard for human life and they'll do anything to be the center of attention or get ahead. And it feels like Malika still has some remnants of that still present in her personality today. We're seeing it live unfold on television daily. And Jalen Rose, being as smooth as he was, he didn't really say nothing back to her uh, when that happened. Because it was actually Richard Jefferson's hand that went under her armpit that day. But you could tell he was bothered by it. He had to go make an interview, make not an interview, but a live about it to clear it up and call her little sis, you know, being a gentleman about it and trying to get some of that backlash off of her. But to be honest, she's a person that needs that backlash to hit her hard. And I think some of those issues that she quote unquote dealt with are still present because there is a reason that you feel like you know you have to do these sorts of things to people do you know how it's going to affect the rest of their life to have you know whatever kind of label that is they're putting on them because she had a moment where she got mad or you know baited somebody into doing something and then she plays victim that's absolutely insane man so uh, I want to know what you guys think about this in the comments though let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.